Hey folks, uh, this will get you ready for an upcoming uh, quiz or test on Module 9 on uh, Rational Expressions and Equations. So you'll see questions like these coming up. So state the excluded values. Okay, so the excluded values are when that denominator equals 0. So let's factor that denominator and then set those factors equal to 0. Those will be our excluded values. So we can pull an x out of all of those, and so it's x and then x squared minus 5x minus 14. Just took an x off of all of those. And then factors of negative 14 are negative 7 and positive 2. Okay, so now we set all those factors equal to 0 right there. Let me slide that over, okay? So now we're going to go plus 7, plus 7, minus 2, minus 2. So the excluded values are those numbers right there, okay? See one just like that. All right, so simplify. Okay, this whole chapter is about factoring. So factors uh, on top, and then so this is uh, negative 21 is positive 7 and, and negative 3. And this is x plus 7, x minus 7. Okay, and then cancel out the common factors on top and on bottom. And don't forget, um, if they asked you for the excluded values, x can't equal 7, it can't equal negative 3, but it also can't equal negative 7, because anything that will give you 0 anywhere on those, okay? Now, never mind these ones here. I was doing that for a student here. Let me get rid of that there. So are these equivalent or not? So here's number 1, equivalent to this answer right here. Okay, so is this uh, expression equivalent to this expression right here? Remember, 3 minus x is negative 1 of x minus 3, and x minus 7 is negative 1 of 7 minus x. Okay, and then when you're adding, you guys, just think of a number. 3 plus, say, 2 is the same as 2 plus 3. So when you're adding, they're the same. So, so these are the same of each other, but this is negative 1 of this, and this is negative 1 of this. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay, so 3 plus x is the same as x plus 3. And then I pulled out the negative 1, and it made it look like that right there. And then we can cancel those negative 1. So are they equivalent? Yeah, they're the same thing after you do that right there. How about this one right here? Okay, now this one's a no, and I'm going to show you by just doing an example. I'm going to plug in x equals a number, and you can choose any number you want. I chose uh, 3. Plug in x equals 3 into this expression. So 3 minus 3, 3 minus 7, 3 plus 3. We end up getting 0, because 0 over any number equals 0. Now plug the same x equal number into this. And if it gives you the same expression, then yes, but it won't. It's going to give us 0 in the denominator, which is an undefined number when you have 0 in the denominator. So, hi, I'm doing a video right now. so. Uh, so no offense, honey. I'm just doing a video, dear. So I mean, you're welcome to stay, honey. But I'm just finishing up a video for my uh, out for my integrated math three students. They have a quiz tomorrow. Okay. So the answer is no on that. Okay. So uh, all right. This one says write an equivalent expression uh that has a denominator that equals this right here okay so it's all about factoring so i'm going to factor this x plus 5 x minus 5 i'm going to gcf out as 3 on the denominator there all right and then um so we want our denominator sorry it's in between classes to have all of those right there Okay, well, look, it has the x minus 5, so and this 3 is going to cancel out into that 18, and so this is our fraction that we're going to change now because this simplifies to this, and we want this fraction to include all three of these. So we're going to multiply this fraction by 1, but it's going to be the missing pieces, this piece and this piece. So here it is, times 1 right there. All right, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, multiply these guys back together so it looks like this. Okay, and then we'll foil that out right there, so it's going to give us uh, that right there, and then distribute that 6x through, and then there's that final answer right there. You have one that looks just like that on your quiz. All right, add or subtract and state the excluded values. Okay, so it's all about, okay, um, we, gotta get, we have to get common denominators here. Okay, so um, when you get rid of the denominators, that's when you're solving, when there's an equal sign. This one doesn't have an equal sign, so we've got to have common denominators. Okay, so there's our denominators. So our, L, our lowest common denominator is every factor. That factor, that factor, that factor, and we already covered that one from over here. So it's going to be 2x minus 3x minus 1. 
or m y x minus 1, x minus 3. So we're going to multiply each fraction by 1, but it's going to be the missing piece. This one's missing the x minus 3. So x minus 3 over x minus 3. This is missing the 2. So 2 over 2. Okay, foil out, distribute. So I distributed this 2 through. Okay, and then now what I'm going to do is clean this up. This is going to become minus x right here, and then put this minus through right here. So that's going to change it to a plus 4x plus 2 and then simplify that, okay, and then you can factor that, and then you can factor it to that, and then the x minus 1's cancel, okay, and then it said state the excluded values, so there's our answer, and there are excluded values, okay, all right, here's another one, okay, so um, uh, we've got to get uh, common denominators, so our common denominators is x plus 2, x minus 2, so I'm going to multiply this one by x plus 2 over x plus 2, I don't need to change that one because it has everything, this one's going to be multiplied by x minus 2 over x minus 2. Okay, so here we go. We're going to distribute uh, the 4 through and the minus sign through and the 5x through. Okay, I know I'm going kind of fast. I kind of have to, you guys, as class is coming in. Okay, so here we go. So um, distribute that through, and let's see. Can we factor that? Yes, we can factor that, and we get that. And look, a factor's cancel. Okay, so uh, don't forget your excluded values. All right, so now the next part says solve. Now, you guys, of course, can pause this. So if I'm going too fast, please hit pause. And that would be just to click your screen right there, and it'll pause it. It'll stop it. Okay, so multiply or divide, simplify, state excluded values. Here's the first one. Okay, so factor, factor, factor. And then cancel the common factors. Remember, these are negative ones of each other. So everything cancels except for the x minus 4 and the negative 1. Okay, and then there's your excluded values right there. Okay, last one. So let's see. Uh, no, we've got to solve next. Sorry, and then we'll do some solving section G. Okay, factor, factor. So flip first. Uh, keep change flip. And then factor and then cancel all the common factors. I know I'm going fast, but you can pause, okay? All right, I often get comments that I go too fast. Well, I, I, I'm a busy guy, sorry. All right, so solve state the extraneous solutions. Okay, so this is where we have an equal sign. We get rid of the denominators, and so we still have to find a common denominator, and then we multiply everything by the common denominator. Okay, now, when we solve, if we get x equals 0 or x equals 3, then we toss it out because it'll be a no solution. Okay, so... Um, every factor, every factor, x, x minus 3, and so that's my common denominator, okay? So everything cancels here. You're left with 18. Those cancel. I'm left with 6x. Those cancel. We're left with 5 times x minus 3, okay? Solve. We get x equals 3, but hey, that was one of the, uh, the extraneous solutions, so that one's a no solution. Uno mas, okay? All right, so here, common denominator is x uh, square or x plus 1, x minus 1. So we're going to multiply everything by that. Okay, everything. So and then cancel, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and since nothing canceled, I went ahead and fold it back out to get x squared minus 1. Now I'm going to put the 2 through. Um, that's just 12, and over here, 3x times and goes through there. Okay, so we get that. Okay, and then so we, that's a quadratic. We want it to equal 0, so we get that, and then we can factor and then set the factors equal to 0, and we get that. All right, all right, if you're in my class, I'm going to assign you that. Take care. I hope you do great on your test. Take care.